Hello all. I watched Picard Season 3 Episode 1 today. Now I didn't review the first two seasons. To be honest, I found them a bit soul-crushing. Star Trek The Next Generation was one of my favourite shows and the first two seasons of Picard, especially the second one, really just defecated all over that. However, whilst those seem to be written by people who neither cared or knew anything about the character or the world, this season has been created by somebody involved in writing previous episodes of classic Trek. So I had higher hopes and a few people whose opinion I trust had said it was quite good. A quick synopsis. Dr. Beverly Crusher, finding herself in a perilous situation, sends an encoded message to Picard. Picard then enlists the help of Riker, his old first officer, to try and find Beverly. I think the best thing to say is it shows promise. Tonally, it's, it's probably more in fitting with the movies than I'd say the original Next Generation. Whilst sadly the shadow of the last two series does hang quite heavily over it. Hopefully that shadow will lessen as the series goes on. Visually it's quite stunning. Some amazing vistas and imagery. There are glimpses of Picard being his old self, especially at the beginning. But then he turns into a simpering old man again who takes insults without batting an eyelid or taking the person concerned to task. I think Riker is far better realised in this. There's a moment where Riker calls somebody out whilst Picard's kind of just sitting there. And whilst that's completely in character for Riker, for Picard to kind of sit there withering under this bloke's snide little comments just seemed very odd. And that even seems like a break from the first series where he was far more forthright about what he wanted to do. That's something they need to address because that's not the Picard we like. That's the Picard from season one and two, which I don't like. Some of the dialogue is very exposition heavy because this is a new series and kind of almost like a soft reboot. I understand that, but a couple of times it's quite clunky. And I found the foreshadowing to be quite obvious and laboured a couple of times. They don't rely on the intelligence of the audience. It's like, here's this thing. Here's this thing again. Here's this thing again. I'm just going to mention it again. I don't need that. I kind of got it from the first moments it was shown. I didn't need you to keep underlining it every five minutes. And that was one thing about The Next Generation. It trusted its audience to understand what was happening. The swearing is reduced in this, although there is a moment of it. And I don't think it's necessary and I think they should drop it altogether. It's another thing that's bad from the previous series and current Trek. I don't need swearing in it. And it affects the tone again. Raffi is back as his seven of nine and they're doing something a bit more interesting with Raffi at the moment. A separate but obviously interconnected part of the story. But the foreshadowing was so laboured with techno babble and it felt a little clunkily inserted in an exposition dump. There's certainly a slightly different character to her which I quite liked. Apparently the writer had a specific path in mind for her which is why she's back in this series rather than the other characters who've literally just been cut loose. Which I understand, but you kind of needed some sort of tie-in. As much as I didn't like the first two seasons, it feels weird just to cut them off dead and pretend those people never existed. Now they may turn up at some point in this series, I don't know. And I know it seems weird complaining about characters I don't like not being in this, but just for continuity's sake, it feels a bit disconnected. And one of the other throwbacks from the first two seasons is how dark the ships are. The bridge of the Titan, which is a ship they're on at some point, is so dark and it just sets this mood. Not to mention it'd be bad for the eyes of the crew. I don't understand that. It, it feels very much like the bridge looked in yesterday's Enterprise, which obviously made it a battleship. It just doesn't fit for a ship of exploration. Not for me anyway, but that's a minor quibble but it, it impacts the tone of the overall show. Something else I found quite annoying is how literal the computer is, specifically the one in Chateau Picard. It felt very much like he was talking to Siri rather than a computer of that century. It was possibly done for laughs, but it just felt a bit weird and a bit out of place. One of the things I think that lifted it was that the music is definitely more uplifting really there's definitely more positivity to it which is good i'm also hoping we get to see more of laris 
I like her character and I like the actress, but she's literally in it for a couple of minutes and then gone. And despite the slightly disquieting nature of the physical age difference between them, I do find hers and Picard's relationship quite engaging. So fingers crossed that she appears again. It was pretty much a setting up episode. As an episode on its own, it was okay. It was enjoyable enough. I don't feel like really that much happened, but I'm hopeful because I didn't get the same reaction I did to the previous series especially, or to Discovery, which I just stopped watching. Put it this way, so far nobody started crying, which is already a step up from Discovery. It certainly feels like it's in more capable hands and it may deliver something akin to the next generation, possibly more like the movies than the series, but I'm keeping everything crossed that this season of Picard is everything I want it to be. I don't have any massive expectations, so I'm not putting those on the series. I just want it to be good Trek again for a change. Anyhow, I'll leave that one there. Thanks for listening. I'd be interested to read your comments, whether you felt similarly to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. The obligatory plug for my comic, which is available from my website, and the link is in the description below. Once again, thank you for listening, and peace out.